Hey y'all, I am mixing my epoxy so I can show y'all how I did those cups yesterday. Uh, I do have three kids and a 10 month old, so there will probably be background noise. It's inevitable. Right now, I'm just using these little syringes from Walmart that stop at certain measurements to measure my epoxy. And it's the Hobby Lobby epoxy. <laughs> And I stir with these little sticks. I did 1.5 teaspoons in each one. I'm always afraid I don't mix enough and then I usually mix too much. So I'm gonna try 1.5 this time. Should have done this before, but and these are just leftover styrofoam cups that I cut the top off. Here comes my kids. All right, y'all. I bought this glow-in-the-dark fluorescent acrylic paint yesterday at Walmart, and I figured we'd try it. My son is a Minecraft friend, fiend, so uh, I'm going to make him a Minecraft cup, and he has decided he wants this background on his cup. <laughs> Once your epoxy is mixed, I just, you put a little bit of paint in there. Much more yellow than I thought it was going to be. We'll see. And I did a base coat on this cup of just spray paint. So it's just mixed right in my epoxy. And I'm going to do, I went and got the right blue for my cowboy's cup. I'm going to put it on his cup so I can see what it looks like. hear my baby. All right, again, I'm just squeeze a little bit in there. If it's not enough color, squeeze a little more. Ooh, I like this blue. And once it's mixed, should be good. I like this blue. It's metallic blue yeah. sapphire from Walmart. And it's just like makes an epoxy. It really doesn't, I mean, it might bend it a little, but the end product doesn't change at all. Um, um, latex paint is all it is. And it, it's the only black I have. I used all the other black on my cup last night. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of it in. It wasn't black enough, so I gotta get it. All right, y'all, there's the black. It's all Ready to go. Yeah. So I'm gonna use three colors on this cup. Man, I like that blue. If it gets too thick on you, you can use your heat gun and thin it up. I've already got my cup spinning. It might have something to do with that glow paint that is thickening, thickening it. These are still okay. 
Note to self, mix glow paint last. Glow paint. This is just a heat gun. I got it Harbor Freight for like eight bucks. All right, y'all. That's my heat gun. You got it on sale. Don't listen to him. That's Stealing all my tools. All right. I'm going to do black first because it's black just seems to overwhelm everything. So I put it on first and then put colors on top of it so that when I smear it all down, it doesn't overwhelm the cup. All right. My son is unable to be quiet, y'all. All right. What I do is I just pour it on. I don't know if you can see. Just drizzle. Now wait. Drizzle. Try not to get like huge clumps like that. It's okay. This first coat is really to cover. I have something underneath because it drips like crazy, y'all. Excuse my y'all. All right. So I've got black all the way around. Let's do the yellow. I hope it's going to work. It's just real stringy. It's not as thin as that black was. Ooh. There's no exact science to this. I'm eager to see if this glow paint is actually going to glow. Um, this is kind of mimicking the uh, Nikki Lawson's tutorial she posted. Uh, that's what gave me the idea to use the acrylics. And Feather Bear, I've watched her and of course Rosanna, and they all have given me the knowledge to just kind of play with it and figure out kind of this method. Okay, make sure we have yellow all the way around. It's super gooey. I think it has to do with uh, it being glow paint. Maybe it just affects it different. And I still have some left in each cup because you're going to need it again. Here's my blue. Could be a little darker for the cowboys, but I love it. Y'all see that I use the stick and I pour it. It's really up to you. I guess it depends on the look you're going for. Um, I did blue because I guess What's what's the character's name in Minecraft Zane? Steve? Is it Steve? Just the character. Yeah. Oh. Steve. With the blue shirt. Steve, yeah. Okay. And, blue, and dark, 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 dark blue pants. Well, we're that's Steve. It, okay. That's Diamond Steve. Diamond no. Steve. We're doing blue for Diamond Steve. No, it's regular Steve. Oh, regular Steve. Just this Steve. is a metallic blue. Oh, I think it's going to look pretty good. Blue. Yeah. You got some blue in the dark. Okay. And there's Carol Ryan that looks just okay. like Steve, but white eyes. All right, y'all. It looks like I have paint all the way around. So now what we need to do is get it covered. Um, and what I do with that is I just get my paintbrush. Uh, my paintbrush sits in acetone. And I just get it, wipe it off. Now this part, I just drag my brush until it's all covered. Ooh, we could totally do like a camo. Oh, this is I just want to make sure the whole cup is covered. That's my baby. Okay. 
Maybe I like this. That metallic and a blue really helps it. I just keep letting it go until I get the whole thing covered. I try not to muddy up the colors too much. But sometimes you can't help it. Dude, this almost looks like a galaxy cup. It just needs like some purple in it. All right, y'all. I think we're getting close to covered. Just don't wanna overwork it because you'll lose a lot of this marble. And once you decide that you've got it like you want it and walk away from it, you'll come back an hour later and it'll look completely different. All right. I think that we are pretty well covered. Yeah, that looks so cool. The metallic in that blue just took over all of it. So that's what the pearl white did in my tech cup yesterday. I just put one of these had pearl and it, and it took over the whole cup and made it shiny. And here's the cloud cup dry. That blue lightened up a lot. But I can't wait to go get some pearl powder. Okay, now that this is completely covered, I'm gonna get the yellow first, just cause it's gummy. and you just lay it on. And this time, wherever you lay it, it's gonna stay um, for the most part. I don't, I mean, I'm gonna heat it up, but other than that, there's no more smearing. Man, that glow paint really, it's my first time I used the glow paint and it's made it really stringy really fast. But I don't think he'll care. I mean, if it glows, that's a bonus. I'm kind of running out of it anyway, which is fine. I think my normal strategy is, strategy is going to be going probably darkest color to lightest color both times you do this because those dark colors really take over. See how stringy that is? The other two aren't like that. Whatever works, y'all. Whatever works. Okay. Done with the yellow. Okay. Let's get a little bit more black in there. The second time around, I probably I use the stick more than I use anything because I want it. I want to control it more.
Nikki Lawson told me where that pearl powder was, and I think that would look awesome in this black. Ooh, I wonder what would happen. You got a drop cloth. Uh, yeah. You were dripping this stuff everywhere. I already said it's a messy process. See, if you do that, like, I'll just drag some blue through this big glob that I dropped. It'll fix. It's okay, guys. Not a big issue. I hope. It's already starting to smooth out. Mm -hmm. This sucker takes a while to dry, but... Okay, now the blue. And sometimes I'll put a color on top and I'm like, oh, I don't like that to be the dominant color. So I'll go back and put, I have a little bit of black left so I can light down a little bit. Wait for my spinner to come around. No big drops, no big drops. We need to finish your spinner. I've been building everybody else's. Yeah, my husband's been building people's spinners. I put this one together because I needed one to work on. I asked him the other day, I said, how is it that my husband builds and sells spinners, but I don't have a spinner. I find it very fair. It's actually pretty cool. It's kind of reminding me of like Lego Batman-esque. Well, it's Minecraft, it's supposed to. Minecraft is the modern day Lego. Yeah, that's um, if I didn't take electronics away after an hour, he would be on it all day. trying to cover up that blob that dropped in the black. I think I might do a little more black on top just because. Man, that'd be cool if this glows. Do you want to do a second video after it dries? Yeah, probably would. Well, wow, that's really sick. It has a lot of shimmer for it's from that metallic blue. Right, but without putting glitter, it has a lot of shimmer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of this because I don't like to waste epoxy. They're gonna have to deal with his commentary. He won't go away. <laughs> I'd probably put a little more yellow in this if I had more, but. I think it's pretty close to where I want it. I'm gonna get my paintbrush one more time. See if I have enough to do the bottom. I really don't pay attention to the bottom because I usually put my sticker on the bottom. These are the little stickers I put on the bottom. Just like most of you, I, I use the Illumilite Epoxy um, from Hobby Lobby. And you don't really need much for the bottom. I try for the edges mostly, really. And then you do something like that. That's okay. There's probably going to be um, decals down there. I just paint it on so that it'll be a smooth bottom too. Now I'll get the heat gun and I really just play with it a little bit and warm it up so that 
while it's turning, it'll smooth out, especially with that yellow being as gummy as it is. And um, if there's like globs, some of it's thicker than others. So I just try to even it out as much as I can. I like this one off. The batteries are running low. You can manipulate it a little by just kind of keeping the heat gun on it. You can see. Um, It'll start dripping, and you can see bubbles popping. Prevents any dimples. Huh? Gets rid of dimples, too. Let's just smooth it out, mostly. You want to come back and show the finish one later? Yeah, I'll probably, I'll post the finished up tomorrow so y'all can see what it looks like hopefully not much different than this i really like the way it turned out let's see if but i can get a closer look sorry the light went out my phone is running low let's see if i can adjust this to get a better look Hang on. All right. Now you can see the sparkle in it. And you can see the epoxy still moving. Um, yep. Wherever it settles, it settles. I'm pretty excited. I like this. Look, there's some bubbles right there. So I'm just going to get the heat gun and pop them. And I come back and check on it. It'll smooth out. And watch for bubbles. And uh, kind of babysit it until it thickens up a little more. But that's how I did it, y'all. But this is my YouTube channel, the Country Five Creations. I am going to start doing more videos as I discover things and learn more. Uh, like and subscribe if y'all like to see more videos.